right y'all I am back today to uh, I guess um, just do a request that I guess some of y'all have asked me about regarding my sisters I was raised in the house with my mother with four of us I am the oldest of that four out of like my DNA's other children I have four I have three sisters and I have one brother the reason why you guys don't ever hear me like talk about them is just due to the fact that I really don't have a relationship with them and it's not that I don't want to have a relationship with them it's just it's hard to have a relationship with them we just see eye to eye when it comes to my DNA and what they may think he is to them he clearly is not to me being the oldest of eight I feel like I always have like this huge responsibility to you know be a role model and it's not that you know y'all I'm gonna be honest it's not nothing that I like really try I just try to live life right through God's eyes four of us my mom's children those are the sisters that I grew up in the house with and those are the sisters that I'm going to talk to y'all about today the sisters that I have as y'all already know if you guys have been following me since the summer vlogs you guys actually got to meet all of them and their names are Tiffany, Demetrius, and Ashley. And we are, me and Tiff are three years apart. Demetrius and Tiff are like five years apart. And clearly, Ashley and I, we are 18 years apart. Yeah, my mama did that to me. She did that to me, my senior. Y'all ain't gonna lie, y'all. I was mad as hell, too. And that's being on the real. You know, the senior year, you be like, oh, mama gonna ball out to me. And then my mama ends up pregnant with Ashley. I'm going to just give you guys a, a little brief summary on basically characteristics about my sisters, my fondest memory with them, and the relationship that I have with them. And you guys will get adjusted to that just by me telling y'all about them. Well, we're going to start off with Tiff. Tiff, Tiff is... I would say shy, very simple, can be timid, can be, uh, you know, reserved, uh, can be viewed as being a bit conservative compared to the rest of us. Tiff is a college graduate. She holds a bachelor's degree in graphic design. She is holding two degrees, a bachelor's and a master's degree. Tiff is also a veteran of the Army. Tiff served a couple of years in the military, and that is where Tiff started living life. You know, that's how she left my mama's house, by going into the military. My fondest memory with Tiff would have to be when she was stationed at Fort Bragg, and we were actually living in Raleigh-Durham area at the time. When my sister had called and, you know, she told me that she was getting married, y'all, my mama was dead set against it because my mama just thought that she was jumping the gun. She was getting married too young and she thought she was getting married for the wrong reasons. Y'all done heard the story before, right? Yeah. My mom wasn't very supportive when Tiff had decided to get married because she wasn't let's just say she wasn't very fond of him however you know you got to do what you got to do because you know it is your life and if you're gonna make mistakes you know you guess what you gotta learn from those mistakes well to make a long story short regardless of how my mom felt about the situation with her getting married I felt it was my obligation and it was it was my pleasure to actually drive down to go see my sister get married and y'all my signature is on her marriage license and i was there and i took the time out of my day to drive an hour and a half away to be there for her because when nobody else was she can honestly say that i was and you know it was a big thing you know for tiff to finally be getting married because tiff is that sister that said she was never gonna have kids she was never gonna get married she was never gonna be like all goo goo gaga over no boy or no man or anything like that that was all, always her mentality and child when you that sister clearly your ass 
tends to do everything that you said that you wasn't gonna do, you end up doing, okay? With that marriage, my sister actually was the first of my sisters to make Steph an auntie. I'ma tell y'all, I take great pleasure and great pride in being an auntie. And Kayla was definitely the first niece that I have that to actually call me Aunt Steph. Now let me tell y'all my fondest memory of little Kayla. When I first met Kayla, Kayla was a crybaby. I ain't gonna lie, first time I met her, clearly I was calling her crying Kayla. She got dubbed that name real quick by Auntie Steph because she cried for everything. I didn't understand why she was always crying. Tiff had decided to move to Atlanta. We were planning on moving to Atlanta as well. We moved there. My sister actually ended up living probably an hour away from Atlanta from where we lived. Then I can honestly say I think that's probably like her biggest regret is that she lived that close to me and like she she tells me this that you know she wished that she would have took more advantage of it more well we live and we learn and i babysat my little niece one day and i'm gonna tell y'all i was nervous just due to the fact that i'm like okay do i go somewhere with this little girl and she starts crying like crying kayla do what what am i gonna do well honey Let's just say, she did not have an episode with Auntie Steph. And thank God she didn't. But as soon as her mama showed back up on the scene, Crying Kayla returned. So, that is my sister Tiff. And that is my first niece that I was blessed with. And then, I'm gonna tell y'all about my sister, Timetris. Tamitris is the middle, the middle sister. And Tamitris is the sister that, when I tell y'all, we have kindred spirits. We really, really do. Uh, this sister and I, we get along very well. And I get along with all of them very, very well. I'm, I'm, I have to say that. I just have different relationships with all of them. And when it comes to Tamitris, she is very outspoken. And we understand each other about that. She's very loud versus Tiff is very quiet. But we are outspoken, honest to a default. Okay, don't ask us something and think we're gonna lie, sugarcoat, or try to make you feel better about yourself. Nah, if you if you wrong, you wrong. If you stink, you stink, and we gonna call it that. And me and her, we just we had this great relationship where we can just be very open and there is no filter there's nothing that i would not talk to her about just due to the fact that that's how open our relationship is when it comes to being protective now this is the sister that child if something had happened honey she is gonna be on deck and she is ready and ready to jump in her car and let's handle some ish okay she that sister, she and Ashley are alike when it comes to that. Very protective, even though they the little sisters, that don't mean ish, okay? Like, they be ready, guns blazing, who we got, who ass we got to whoop. Who we gotta go on covert operation with, okay? Who? That's how we are. Very protective. I'm like, oh my gosh, like, she will, she will come for you. And I love that about her. Definitely, I've shared some, I have tons of like vivid, great memories with her. However, I would have to say my most fondest memory with her would have to be the birth of my first nephew. And y'all, let me just tell y'all. She, I lived in Valdosta, Georgia, and she lived in, she lives in Jacksonville. I, when I found out she was pregnant, y'all, I was so happy for her because, you know, she has been wanting a child. She has been, you know, like she's stepped into her thirties and, you know, she's on her grown woman-ish and a child in marriage is definitely on her list to, you know, have accomplished. Well, honey, who knew that a couple of months after she turned 30, shit, I don't even think it was a couple of months. I want to say it was like a month and a half later, she called and she told me she was pregnant. Now, we are planning for this birth. Like, you know, she's a planner. Let me just tell y'all this. We had a baby shower in July of, let me see, 2013. 
I want to say it was 2013. I could be wrong. 2014. I'm just a little off right now, be shit. However, when we had the baby shower, two weeks later, she was not due to September. Two weeks later, she went into labor. She goes into labor, she calls me, and she's at the hospital. Well, let's just say, she wasn't like in full-blown labor because they, she had high blood pressure and they were trying to watch her for like proclampsia and toxemia. Well, she called me, she told me, and I said, well, when they say it's, it's like, it's gonna happen, call me and I'm going to be in the car and I am going to be on the way. Well, when she called me, y'all, <laughs> This girl, um, I was on the way, I done packed my bag, I was ready, and they were going to induce her labor, and baby Omari was going to be born on that day. Now, the night before, the doctor wanted to induce her labor, and she told the physician, no, you can't do that, because I cannot have this baby until my sister get here. So, it was... The, the in, inducing of the baby was put on hold because I wasn't leaving until the next morning. The next morning, she called to make sure I was en route. They induced the labor. Y'all, why would I get that? Why the doctor looking at me sideways? Like, you the reason why I couldn't induce her labor last night? Yep, I'm the reason. I ain't gonna lie. And, you know, it's just that she didn't want me to miss anything. And I got to see my first live birth with this sister and I'm gonna just tell y'all it's something I will never forget and it's a bond that we share with one another that y'all when I say like I was there <laughs> if y'all ever if y'all have ever witnessed a live birth y'all know what I'm talking about okay honey honey they're pushing her in the feet push and when I saw his hair come out you know I'm telling her girl you got a hair full of hair and like she's struggling like with no she wasn't struggling why am i lying that girl pushed three good times and that baby came out okay i was proud i was like girl you was a champion a champion honey it was it was the most beautiful thing i ever witnessed and because it was like our first nephew, my first nephew, my mom's first grandson, the first boy amongst all my mom's grandkids. It just was a memorable moment. And that's my most memorable moment that I share with her. And just to tell y'all this as well, I'm Omari's godmother. I got dubbed as the godmother because they also asked James to be the godfather. So we are godparents to our first nephew, my mom's first grandson, the first boy amongst the Mayrose clan, okay? Okay. So, that's my most fondest memory with my sister Demetrius. And we have a bond that can never be broken. Ava, do you hear me? Ava, it's like that. Demetrius also is a college graduate. She, she, yeah, I'll be lying. I know what they got degrees in. It's just that because I'm telling the story right now, yeah, my mind, my mind is like gone blank, okay? However, two very educated sisters, and you know, I can honestly say I'm proud to say I'm their big sister. The next person that I'm going to talk about is Ashley. Ashley and I, my bonds and my connection with this sister goes deep. And I'm going to tell y'all why. This little girl was created. Let's just go on and say that. My senior year in high school, my mama, I remember the day she told me she was pregnant. I ain't going to lie. I was mad as hell. Mad. Like, for real mad. Okay? Because it's my senior year. You know, you are here having my babies and, like, you know, that's taking the focus off. natural so a lot of times my sister Ashley was with me when my mom was like at work and like this is when like if I would be home and stuff like this on the weekend from college and stuff like that and honestly y'all people always thought she was my daughter just due to the fact that she was always with me at the time fast forward two years later I had a baby and the reason Jasmine and Ashley are so close is just due to the fact that no matter how many times I come to visit Florida and I'm at my mama's house when I get there my mama no longer is worried about Ashley because she already know Ashley gonna be with me 